Hey, do you know what a ground groover is? I think we all secretly want to be race car drivers of some sort, and the automakers certainly know this. In fact, they cruelly exploit our inner speed obsession with cars like this 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 302. The Boss 302 serves several purposes, with the first being to make the Mustang legal for competition in the Red Hot SCCA Trans Am Road Race Series. Ford wanted to beat those speedy Camaros in the 305 cubic inch limit races. But the rule stated that a car model's eligibility to compete in the series required a quantity of civilian versions to be sold to regular Joes on the street. So the Boss 302 was sorta of mass produced to satisfy the SCCA rules, or mass produced enough, I guess you'd say. The other purpose of the Boss 302 was purely to provide us wannabe racers with an at-home player version of the Trans Am racer that was ready to rock right off the showroom floor. These cars featured all the style of the track only cars, but were 100% street legal, and they weren't just for looks either. The Boss 302 had a long list of performance improvements over the base model Mustang. It's called the Boss 302, referring to the 302 cubic inch high performance engine under the hood, but this car is more than just a better engine in a Mustang. This package got you revised front suspension and better brakes, uh, better rear suspension and brakes, of course, the appearance package with the stripes, the louvers, the rear wing, and the blacked out tail panel. So although Boss 302 is catchy, it's really a, a whole car package. And the Boss 302 really is a special version of a Mustang. Take the engine block, for example. It's not just the same 302 cubic inch version we've seen in other Ford products. It's a special iron alloy with increased amounts of nickel for added strength. The main bearing caps featured four bolts rather than just two to keep the crankshaft in place, spinning at high RPM. And the freeze plugs were a screw-in design for added strength and less risk of leaking or popping out on the racetrack. The cylinder heads featured oversized valves in a canted position for increased airflow when the RPM went skyward. And they're fed by a mighty 780 CFM carburetor one of the biggest Ford ever installed on any car, no matter what the engine size. And this all added up to an advertised power rating of 290 horsepower at 5200 RPM and 290 pound-feet of torque at 4300. But the fact that the car had a rev limiter set to 6150 RPM, well, that tells you that perhaps there was a bit more power left on the table than that 290 horsepower rating. Ford had some formidable competition against the Boss 302 and Trans Am. Chevrolet had the very potent Camaro Z28, and of course Plymouth had the Cuda AAR to race with. But at the end of the day, well, the Fords did pretty well. The Boss 302 needed more than power to beat the stiff competition on the track, and Ford engineers slipped some racing suspension tricks onto the streetcar as well. The front suspension features a lowered stance with stiffer springs, shocks and a bigger front sway bar. Disc brakes were used and reinforced shock towers added strength to the nose of the car. The rear used special springs, a 350 to 1 limited slip differential and it rolled on 15 inch wheels all the way around. Ours features the optional chrome Magnum 500 wheels but hubcaps were standard. The Boss 302 had a great look and this freshly restored Wimbledon white version really stands out. Black hockey stick stripes accent the flanks and converge on the hood surrounding the finned shaker hood scoop. A black rear wing adds to the look while the sport slats shade the rear window and the black stripes extend to the rear view as well. The slats were optional but the front lower chin spoiler was part of the package. There was no mistaking this car when it was out prowling the streets. Ford invested heavily in Trans Am in 1970 and it paid off with a championship in the series. And just over 7,000 people drove a street Boss 302 home that year. 
And this is one of the cleanest examples found in the Brothers Collection. Ford used the term ground groover to describe the Boss 302 in an advertisement, kind of saying that it was like a uh, slot car that you could drive on the street. Kind of goofy, but I guess it works. Just about every kind of Mustang is here in the Brothers Collection. What did you think about the white Boss 302? You can share your comments on our Facebook page or YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time with another cool car from the Brothers Collection on Muscle Car of the Week.